Nowadays, tofu pudding is becoming a trend in the market. Tofu pudding is also known as tofu hua in Chinese, or even more common name, tofu fa. It can be eaten with different condiments such as white or brown sugar syrup, flavoured sugar syrup, fruits and many more. But do you know the science behind the making of tofu pudding? Before this, let's take a look on how tofu pudding is being produced. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make a tofu pudding. First of all, we need to prepare 250 gram of soybeans, 1.8 liter of water, 3 quarter of teaspoon of GDLs, also known as gluconol delta lactone, half tablespoon of cornstarch and 2 tablespoons of water to dilute the cornstarch and the GDL. First, you have to soak the 250 gram of soybeans in the water. Then you have to let the soybean soak overnight or at least 8 hours. Preview. Then strain the water out. Remove the layer of the soybean skin to prevent any waxy taste later in the soy milk. After that, blend the soybeans with 1.8 liter of water. Do it in the few batch if the blender could not fit the ingredients. Strain and press out the soy milk with a cheesecloth. Make sure to press out as much as soy milk as you can. In other container, mix the measured amount of GDLs and cornstarch with water to dilute it. Then bring the soy milk to the boil. Once it is boiled, switch off the fire and let it cool down for 5 minutes or until 90 degrees Celsius. Pour the soy milk and GDL mixture simultaneously in a gushing motion from 2 to 3 feet above the new bowl. Cover the top with a towel and lid it. Leave it to set for approximately an hour. Once it is set, gently skim the layers of tofu puddings and top with sugar syrup or your favorite condiments. The tofu pudding is ready to be served. GDL, also known as Glucono Delta Lactone, is one of the most critical ingredients in the making of tofu pudding. It acts as a coagulant in the curding system of tofu pudding. GDL is one of the byproducts of the oxidation of glucose. In the presence of water, GDL will form gluconic acid. The yield of gluconic acid can be increased at the presence of heat. Next, let's see what are the main components in soy milk that involves in the curding process. 
Soy milk can be divided into three components which are lipid, phytic acid and protein. Now, let's look into the coding system of GDL. Before that, let's use some symbols to represent the different components. First, the soy milk contains lipid, protein and phytic acid. Upon heat, the protein will unwind itself as it denatures, forming protein strands. At the addition of GDL slowly, GDL will react with protein and reduce the electrostatic repulsion force between the proteins. The proteins will then come closer to each other and trap the liquid, forming a protein and lipid emulsion. After all GDL are added, it will cause the pH of the system to drop. At this point, the GDL will bind with the phytic acid and protein simultaneously or at the same time and this process will form curd. Cornstarch does not involve in the curding process of tofu pudding. The function of cornstarch is just to bind the water and give the tofu pudding a smoother texture. There are a few critical points that need to be cautious while making tofu pudding. First is the concentration of soy milk. The ratio of water to soybean should be the range of 5 to 1 to 7 to 1. And the soy milk must be pure without any sugar, as sugar will compete for water and disturb the curding system. Next is the temperature of soy milk while mixing with GDL. The temperature should be around 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. High temperature will cause fast coagulation and form firmer tofu. However, longer time will be needed if the temperature is too low. Besides that, the concentration of GDL should be 0.15 to 0.5% of the whole system. And before adding the GDL and cornstarch into the soy milk, it must be well dissolved in water for even distribution among soy milk. Lastly, after mixing everything together, stir slightly until well combined and let it stay for at least 1 hour. Make sure no disturbance in between and you will be able to achieve a nice and smooth tofu pudding. Two, three. Close back! <laughs> Close back again.